Alright, so basically, this guy is the biggest donator in the history of my YouTube live stream chat. And he just showed up, he's repping blood. Oh no. Yeah. And he's got the oxy molecule on man, the tattoo man, on him. You ain't fucking with me. He don't do that anymore. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't fuck with it. But anyway, he just showed up, he donated 500 bucks tonight. And now he's just out here hanging out with us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chad's out in the hard rock. Hey, so don't don't ever say that there's anything wrong with this whole streaming thing, because we're showing love to the people. Exactly. Exactly. Right, Dan Quan? Yeah. Right, Coast? Real talk. <laughs> Alright guys, so I'm sure Lennon's gonna be annoyed by this, but I'm gonna start vlogging right now. Me and her are currently on our way to New York City. It's the first time that we've ever gone on an airplane together. First time we've gone on any sort of trip of any real significance, so we went to Santa Cruz, but still a driving trip, so here we go. Let's go, short cake. Normally when I'm in an airport, I'm kind of like stressed out and stuff because, you know, I have to like be responsible and mature and stuff. <laughs> this is really funny because I'm with Lena. She's way more responsible and mature than I am. So she's just taking care of everything. And it actually leaves me free to vlog. Normally, like historically, whenever I go to the airport, I just don't vlog while well. I vlog incredibly miss your poorly. Flight. <laughs> or I miss my flight, yeah. She's actually been kind of annoyed with me for the past few hours because I made her come to the store at one o'clock in the morning, uh, even though she didn't have to. You said one o'clock, I follow directions. Yeah, but then I ended up having this like drunk old dude come to the store and he gave me like, oh. Hey babe, if you want to take your time, I'm actually going a little longer. That's all you have to say. I didn't really realize it was like that, but anyway, some fucking old fat dude came and he gave me like over a thousand bucks on stream and he just came there and he was so drunk and then X FaceTimed me because he was hanging out with a girl who all of you guys are going to know exactly who it is. We have, I have hung out before and uh, he FaceTimed me for like 35 minutes and I'm pretty sure this was, dude McMillions fell asleep and uh, I heard just now from someone else that he lost his phone or got robbed outside of the store after we left, so. Pretty sure that we saw some guy taking pictures of Lena like a fucking creepazoid while we were sitting there waiting for the plane. So I told him I was gonna kill him and like pretty much screamed at him in the middle of the airport. It was kind of awkward. And also I just, just, just narrowly got the X interview part of that live stream uploaded because some other kid already uploaded it and I was like, oh my god, well, I might as, le I might as well at least get it up myself before somebody else does. I'm officially that guy filming the fucking wing of the plane out the window. I never thought I'd be this guy. I've been on airplanes for so long. so horrendous right now. I've been on airplanes for so long, I don't think I ever pointed my camera out there. No. Nick Lachey sitting in the first class of this flight, you guys. With little Vanessa Milano. So you're having a little fan moment here? I mean, I was wearing the 98 degree shirt just the other night. To do what? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. <laughs> <laughs> For the record, two older women came up to me while we were getting our bags and said that that dude that I screamed at in the airport definitely was a creep and was taking weird pictures of other girls. So I feel at least somewhat vindicated that I wasn't completely tripping out because I was thinking that I might be tweaking and I was like, I don't even care. Like even if I'm wrong, I don't care. I'm still gonna stream with this guy. But then as soon as he denied it, I was like, I just knew he was lying. As soon as he denied it, I was like, oh yeah, you're a liar, okay. Oh, Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Just checked into our room. Now we're gonna go buy toothpaste, toothbrushes, and get food to eat. So let's go. Welcome to the big fucking apple, out of the plug.
So y'all got weed trucks in New York now, huh? I leave for like seven years and y'all up to all kinds of weird fuck shit. All right, all right. I just got the Raikou. My homeboy here is still working on it. You already got one yet? No matter, this doesn't matter. You know what? I have a 1908. You got the perfect IV? Nope, but I got the My 1908. God. What, 98% or some shit? Yeah. Oh, let's check it out. No, this is what I do. You ever heard of No Jumper, the YouTube channel? You gotta check it out if you haven't, cause you're on there. Okay. As of right now. Uh, right here. Beautiful. Very nice. Hey, protect the dogs. Nice meeting you, bro. Take care. Uh, so we just walked around for like an hour, and we couldn't decide on where we're gonna get food at all. Wait, so now we're going to some super random. Oh, burgers and lobster. There's another we option. Go to that. Okay, burgers yeah, and lobster. We'll we were gonna go to Heartland Chop Brewery or some shit, but now it's all about burgers and lobsters. What is this? I don't understand at all, but there's like a teacher over here, so I guess that's what. Oh, yeah, here we go. This is the real show. Get in there. Come on, get in there. Mannequin challenge? Hey! Bib. She got a bib in the bib. Alright, so we ate the lobster, we ate the burger. Now we're really not sure what to do because I slept for two hours on the plane and now it's 6 p.m. and I kind of feel like a zombie. What's up, bro? How you doing? What's up, man? <laughs> and uh, I don't know, we're going back to the hotel and I might go do something else. I'm not really 100% sure. You see that? Yeah, City employees fuck with me. I don't give a fuck who don't. I told Lena that we gotta go to the M&M store because she kind of reminds me of this fool. Yup, that's definitely you. Zans. No. Yeah. No. I love this song. Zans. Zans. Why do you keep saying Zans? They all have different personalities though. Look, the green one's sexy. The red one's a creeper. Who's your candy? Oh. Uh, show, show us your shirt that you're gonna get though. Adam says this is so me. It is you. I'm Everything so about offended. It. You're calling like, me bipolar. Yes. I would like to meet the graphic designer who came up with this and give him a multi-million dollar reward because, God, what an idea. What else they got in here? Anything good? They want you to know there's candy inside in the M&M store. There's candy inside. Like, well, they probably saw empty things too, right? Well, I mean... Ooh, look at that face. What is pick that? Pick it up and use They it. all have different faces. Um... <laughs> this is like... I'm offended there's no pink M&M. This is paranoid. That is paranoid. Yeah. This that's, is... That's this like, is a... That's like a ton of weed. This is me when I took one hit from the blunt. <laughs> <laughs> me after hitting the blunt. Facts. Hey, what's yellow? We didn't even talk about yellow. <laughs> Oh, it's just, hey, how you doing? <laughs> hey, man. This is uh, most of the people I feel like I meet in the back of your store okay. on a daily basis. <laughs> oh, so you meet boys in the back of my store, do you? Yeah. Uh -huh. I can't believe we didn't buy anything. <laughs> I can't. We have amazing self-control. Unbelievable. Yeah. Uh, what's up, YouTubers? So last night, we ended up falling asleep by like, what, 9.30 or some shit. It was, I don't know. I feel like I was dehydrated, exhausted. Just wasn't really feeling that good, so we all passed out super early. She's been up much longer than me. Yeah. She went out and exercised, got ready. I slept and worked on my computer, and now we are going to go do a really cool podcast called Guys We Fucked. I know that that sounds the like... slut shaming podcast. Right. I know that sounds like it's going to be like me being interrogated by a bunch of women who've had sex with me. It's not really the idea. It's just these two girls. They started a podcast where they wanted to interrogate guys that they previously dated and stuff, but it sort of expanded to just include general sex workers like us. And re-vloggers. Vlogging, vlogging, and I'm You're in, in trouble. trouble. Like a term for what you're I do. You're a quadruple threat. I guess, I, would, I guess you could say sex worker too, but that's like a whole, you're just you. 
All right, so we just finished the episode of Guys We Fucked. You guys want to tell us a little bit about your podcast, the anti-slut-shaming podcast? Yes, it's, uh, we started out interviewing a guy, one of us fucked. And then we stopped doing out. that because they were like, oh, this is too popular. So we just started interviewing people in the sex work industry and people who are making strides yes, in we feminism. Yes, we interviewed the first uh, female president of the ACLU. We also interviewed a guy who used to be an Islamic extremist to talk about terrorism and sex. So. And famous wow. comedians like Jim Norton. And porn stars like Asa Akira. Amazing. And, and, and you folks. And somehow I was on this. You because have. of her. Because of her. I would use that other podcast. You guys have to listen to it. Yes, go watch it. Thank you very much, girls. Appreciate you just it. Triple we have no idea what this is ending up, but thank <laughs> you. Appreciate it. All right, I just had a great time uh, doing their podcast, and now we're walking like 20 blocks downtown to go to Union Square because I just told her it would be a good place to walk to. I spent so much of my motherfucking childhood, not childhood, but my teenage, early 20 years, hanging out at Union Square, riding bikes, and you know, whenever I'm back in town, I just really feel the need to revisit, just kind of like soak up some of the energy, even though when I go now, it's like always so crowded that there's nobody riding bikes unless it's like three in the morning, but. Can go down there, maybe do some shopping and that kind of stuff. No, nah, I'm just gonna walk into traffic, it's all good. I don't like that. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna be real, I've never seen this movie, but everybody always says I look like that guy, so. Okay. I've never seen the Goonies. But the people are always saying I look like him. I hope that you don't agree, because I don't think you look like that. Anybody who knows anything about New York, and Middle Eastern food in New York knows this is pretty much the falafel spot, especially if you're downtown St. Mark's area. What do you think? Very delicious. Anything out of the ordinary since you are yourself a falafel ball and you've been eating a lot of falafel your whole life? Uh, no. Pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah. Well, I'll take it. Me and Lil, Lil Plug. All right, right now at the studio at Mio Smoke Parrot, we just sat in a kombucha juice bar for an hour it's waiting lean. for them. Why are you lying to them? Oh, she's right, it's lean. But we were at the bar, the lean bar, and now we're at the studio. <laughs> Imagine there's a lean bar in New York. You I picture, want to go there. You picture flavor. <laughs> just a bunch of motherfuckers. They do. It's called like a heroin, like a junk. They look like a bed, so in case you're trying to push them, you just pass out right there. Mm-hmm. Beat me to it. This is a pretty nice studio. Are you ready? I'm excited. Everybody I'm always scared Halloween. of the studios I go to in LA because they're always in the sketchiest areas. This is in a nice area and it's also on the 10th floor. But there might be a dragon because dragons can fly. Uh, it's been two hours since I last vlogged which is around <laughs> rapper time. And real life. <laughs> this is real life. <laughs> I'm a babysitter again. <laughs> Look, I got Mickey hanging on. I, got Mickey. I just got this. Oh, man. I let Trouble Andrew tattoo Gucci, Gucci Ghost on me. Oh, that was last night? The Gucci yeah. Ghost shit? Yeah, Rope Gang. Yeah, rope, rope Gang. gang. Yeah, you feel me? I just got all of these, and I got this oh, hand. Damn, I just didn't so even like realize you're up now. You know how we coming, oh, nigga. Damn. It's rope gang, no what jumper gang. You, what? Nigga, this this like 20K I'm off right here, nigga. VVS, the highest quality, bitch. Hey, you fuck with no jumper, we coming with them yops. Man, my fuck girl, with, we come, my girl's we gonna cost more than yours. I'm coming for it. We coming with them yops. Mm -hmm. I'm getting a pink one. Mm -hmm. Trust. You can't see my eyes, I got design flames. Put up in a foreign strain, everything. Off the lead, like a kiss that can't go any day. Got a full clip, I'm busting everything. And I keep a chopper, bitch, I'll make it say. Bitch, 30 niggas and we deep, bitch. Finally can pee? Yeah.
Oh. This is what happens when you do lean. You can't pee. Do lean. You can't pee. I don't know about that. It's a problem. Um, I well, pee, my pee is out. Finally. It just was like I have to pee. I'm holding it too. I know. It was just one of those things where like I have to pee. I'm trying to push it all out so I can go to bed and I won't wake up or I'll quick to pee. And it was just kind of hard to get it out. So yeah, don't pee in the middle of the night because I'll keep falling into the toilet every time you go pee and then I wake up in the middle of the night after you. I don't understand how that's such a problem for women because my because mom, I don't turn the lights off when I go pee in the bathroom. I just fall into mom, the toilet. My mom was complaining about that like my entire fucking life growing up too. No, wait, put that shit. Let me see if I fell in the toilet last night. Well, you fucking retarded. Why don't you look at it? Hey, Anne might see this. Don't say that. You're just diving in there without looking? Jesus. <laughs> so, you have fun in the studio with Smoke Perp? Hold on. Say it again. So, did you have fun in the studio with Smoke Perp? I had so much fun. I don't think she did. I think she's lying. She, had, she was bored. I mean, at the sixth hour, yeah, I got yeah. kind of bored. Like, the first five hours, I was chilling. Yeah. I danced to a bunch of songs. I like his album. Yeah. Like, I'm glad I got to listen to it. And I'm glad I got to, like, get to know him a little bit. He seems really nice. If a girl was like, I have a crush on Perp, I'd be like, oh, that's cool. Like, he's a good guy. We're trying to hook him up with a very, very a big celebrity. We will not give any details, but it could be it could a be big collab. Collab. Oh, now I'm peeing. Yay. <laughs> Can I use this as the end of my vlog too? Yeah, sure. Hell yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Get you a girlfriend that vlogs for you. Look at that. I just thought this was pretty well done, especially the angle. It looked great. Hey, <laughs> shout out my boy Grant Germain, Overwhelmed. We have Overwhelmed products in the No Jumper web store, NoJumper.com. Uh, I'm shouting them out. Look at that. Hey. Shout out to uh, Adidas. And shout out Cam Girl too, because she got new merch out too. Protect Cam Girl at all costs. Oh, I was like, why are you shouting all your shit out? And then I realized you just asked me. And shout out on the plug because you got new stickers. <laughs> You're the best, baby. And I love you. And shout out on the jumper because we got hoodies. We got, oh, you wear these shirts. Smell my wiener. Yeah. Uh, we got hoodies. <laughs> we got t-shirts. We got hats. We got everything in the, the online store on jumper.com. Babe, what are we doing tomorrow? Tomorrow? Pretty full day. We're going to go do a little uh, interview type thing for hotnewhiphop.com. And then we're going to go... Uh, Oh, fuck. I just remembered that, yeah, the podcast. We're not going to a podcast this week. That's not happening tomorrow, so we're going to find something to do We have the three potential things to do tomorrow night. Yeah, because there's That's like the a... fucked up thing. Why couldn't they be, like, spread out? Well, there's, there's probably other stuff, too. There's a Rihanna, like, after party that's the one. Thing. That's one of the three things we're talking about. Yeah, that we got asked to go to. Then our friend Adrian Ray is stripping at the strip club, and we kind of, like, asked a bunch of people if they want to go to that, so that could be really fun. And then also, Andrew Schultz is doing comedy, but he does comedy, like, every night. So then there's that cool Pornhub thing. thing that the guy we just yeah, met to us about, Yeah, there's a Pornhub party that fucking Venus, that girl, is uh, DJing. Awesome. And then also, actually, Kira, whatever the fuck you say her name, she's there, too, so it's so. Yeah. We've got a whole bunch of good offering. Tomorrow will be a fun vlog for the people out there. Also, so, we're going to work out well. at some point. Yeah, since yeah. we have a big gap in our day tomorrow, we're going to hit 24-hour fitness, and we're going to get it popping in the gym, babe. Look what a good influence she is. Yeah. Yeah. Good night, vlog.